They look bigger than lasagna sheets. Uh, so yes, because these are made to make lasagna. They're not made for uh, cannelloni. So I'm going to show you how to do it. OK. OK, so if you have this one, a bit of boiling water with salt, mm -hmm. put them in the boiling water. One minute, because if you try to work this one now, it gets dry and look ah, what's happened, it breaks. But if you put them in boiling water for a minute, then what you do, you just pick them up, drain them, I put them on a, a little tea towel. Ah, now they're so nice. a bit like a lasagna loney, isn't it? A lasagna loney, yes. Lasagna -loney. We should do one called lasagna loney. It's one big roll. You know? Amazing. Oh, well, that would be good. Amazing. I like that idea. Now, uh, uh, Philip, oh. I thought he was going to go mad. I no, no, him by I, the I like it because you know we always trying to find new recipe, new technique. The only thing is you need a big shit. That, that, that you know the uh, uh, the pasta thing. What, how yeah. are you going to do that? Impossible. Yeah. Now, you then you got the passata, extra virgin olive oil, and basil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They know by now. I can't. There are certain no, things. No, it's fine. So just it's move fine. it on. Passata, extra virgin olive oil, and basil. If you mix everything together, there. Ricotta cheese. Yes. Holly, I'm using chopped mozzarella. All of this? All of it. Sandra tomatoes and nutmeg. And okay? nutmeg. And put some of the basil as well. Just tear it in there. Now. Oh, the smell. It's beautiful, you see? Just and, you know, so you can, Guys at home, you can do whatever you want. If you don't like sandra tomatoes and you want to put roasted peppers, you can put them in there, the one in the jar, a bit of uh, a pesto, whatever you want nutmeg? to do. Half of it, please. Half? Uh, yeah. Take my nails off. Now, what? what do a quarter then. Now, can you see the pasta here? This is done. I'm yep. just showing everybody. Just put it on a tea towel, the job is done. Um, bechamel sauce. Uh, we're starting with what is called a roux, uh, butter and flour. Uh, you need to make sure that it goes quite brown. That's the mistake that many people do. They, they put the butter and the flour, they melt, then they think it's done. No. Cook it for about three or four minutes. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, yeah. yeah. How much oil? Uh, enough. Now, okay. for the uh, roux, you know one thing that is very important to make sure that the, the, the bechamel doesn't get lumpy, the roux has to be hot, the yeah. milk needs to be cold. Okay. So you need the contrast. As you put it in, you start it to whisk very vividly. Yeah. Is that the word? Vigorously. Yeah. Vi 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 uh, that vigorously. One. Vigorously. You start to do it vigorously, okay? And then uh, uh, you slow down and it thicken. So you just poured that all in in one you big You started to be all in one go. If the milk is cold and the butter and flour is hot, you will, never, you will never get a lamp. No, no, this is just a pretending thing. I got one already oh. prepared. Now, for the bechamel, let it cook, and this is the consistency you want. Look. I mean, Look that is that. stunning. Look at that. OK? So this is done. Guys, are you ready? Yeah. Take OK, me. I'm waiting for you, remember. Oh, OK. So yeah. you mix everything together. And uh, uh, how do we start to put the cannelloni together? No, don't, not together. You mix everything together. You get yourself a baking tray, <laughs> and on the bottom, you put one layer of bechamel sauce. Then you put the pasta, and then we start with the tomato. Feel when it? you say you put the pasta, how do you roll these up? I'm going to show you how to do it now. You made the stuffing, yep. so you put it here. Philip, you go one. Holly, you go one. Here. Yep. And I go one. Now, what you want to do, the stuffing, we roll it this way, Philip. This way. Because it's a big one, we're going to cut it in a half. So, get yourself a nice... Dollop in the middle. Dollop in the middle, OK? Oh, you've got Holly, quite you a can lot. Go. Yeah, yeah, quite a lot is OK. Then what you do, you spread the dollop, mm -hmm. and then you roll it. <laughs> Look. Spread the dollop. Look at that. I'm spreading my... All right. Then you roll it, like that. Now, at this point... Hang on, you... I didn't watch. Okay. Hang on, stop. You stop. Roll Slow it. down. Make sure that people see Roll it. underneath. Roll underneath, like that. And then that's it. And that's it. Now, at this point, you can cut in half. Like a spring roll. If you want two pieces. Yeah. Or you can cut into three if you want small pieces. What Honestly, do you want? I, got, I like to do it in half. So a bigger piece is perfect. There you go. That's what I've done. All right. Uh, Holly and Philip, can you please make another one each? And then I'll put this thing together. So let's recap what we've done. On the bottom, I put the bechamel. Then you put the stuffed cannelloni. Then I'm going to pour the tomato, OK? A little bit of tomato. Philip, have you seen the reason why you flavor the tomato? Because a mistake that often people do, they just put the tomato from the, uh, those jars straight on there, bad. and it doesn't taste of anything. You know, make sure you season well, you put a bit of salt and pepper, fresh basil. OK, at okay, this I've point, it, I've done it. fantastic. At this point, we do one more layer. So it's like a lasagna. Second layer you can go. It's like a lasagna. Yes, oh, you've you gone the other way? It's fine. It's fine. It's like lasagna have, Jenga. You don't have to... Uh, Sorry? Lasagna, uh, Kalani Jenga. You know Jenga? What's a Jenga? It's a gap, don't worry. Okay. So you put it there. 
Like little... You went like, don't worry, like I'm some kind of imbecile. I would never <laughs> understand. <laughs> it's like, it was no, just... you will never <laughs> understand, <laughs> Gino. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you would have been like two hours <laughs> left. So don't worry, you imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two minutes left on the live oh. show. There's not enough time. 45 <laughs> seconds now. OK, so... Then Keep we going, do... we're never going to get to taste it. Then we do... Take the one already done there, please. Then we do one more layer <laughs> of bechamel in the oven, 180 degrees, for 40 minutes. On the top, you put a Parmesan cheese or pecorino, and you put a few slices of mozzarella cheese. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's very easy. It looks absolutely Every e delicious. <laughs> well, oh, you know the good thing about this? If you've if you got friends around that you don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen, prepare this in the morning, and then just before they come in, 40 oh, minutes, gosh. 180 degrees, job done. That is and you so don't need the meat? You don't really need the meat. No, because you've got all the flavours there. Gino, you know, thank that's you. stunning. Absolutely thank stunning. you so much. Oh, thank always you. a pleasure.